Welcome back to my Let's Play of Spy the Dragon. It is now part 4, I think. And this is all continuing off of the other ones. I This is one setting, one sitting, a recording here. And we might do a more with Graham time whenever the fuck Ricky decides to get his ass over here. And Gary might decide to join the little trolling around, maybe. I just burnt him to a crush and that's just lovely. It's so around here this big is where I usually forget at least something. Alright, you're next. You can actually get around this barrier right here. You can actually get around it. It's it's hard. I lose mega amounts of lives. It's hard. I'm not gonna show you. I might decide to make a video of me actually doing it, but it would take forever. It sounds like about when I use that word win there with a dick. You've reached the highest point in Clifftown. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind. Damn. Was your name Marco? So therefore, where is Polo? <laughs> yeah, after this, I'm just gonna start rendering the video. And it's going to take about an hour for each shit part, damn it. So you can kind of figure out how long it's going to take. It's going to take about three hours just for the encoding for each part. Around three hours, give or take. Considering I'm adding in an, an opening, I'm resizing the video. I mean, the size of this is 800 by 600. That's the size of what's just being recorded. At least until I get a new monitor. But then I resize it to HD uh, 720p. Oh, say, oh wait, now I remember where everything is. I remember where everything is now. I'm such a dumbass. You're on these buildings to the right. Oh, I could forget. Dumbo. Ten, ten. Now I'm only half thirty left, right? No, twenty-five. Why didn't I get this to the beginning? Oh, I don't remember why. No sparklies in the distance. I always try to race this thing, but I never make it ever. I have to like hack. Yes, all of it. And then when I upload, it takes another friggin' hour. So that's already six hours worth of friggin' shit that I have to do. Let's see what I just do. I'm two more worlds left, but I'm gonna go to icy <sighs> cavern, ice cavern. I mean, not icy. That's in the third game where there was something called icy. I'm sure most of you already know how to get those lives that are in this place, up in the building near the end of the world. And I'm just gonna do it because I like to get it. They got three lives. And now, more or less, you have to do the world backwards. This is always very interesting. I haven't really done it the original way since I found that out. This out. I've always done it this way, the backwards way. And this dragon is gonna say, Thank you for releasing me! I'm such a queer! You faggot! I mean faggot as in a dick. Not a dick, I mean a bitch. Asher. Thank you for releasing me! Zit. Such useful. What a faggot for not telling me anything. Well, he's gonna try to hit me with his little snowball. And charge these guys because they got armor going on. Yeah, the controller's trying to get Sticky from the sweat. Whoa! Almost went off the edge. And that was my first life lost. My second home mode. See? Just try to charge him. Damn it. I mean, flame him. Didn't work. Oh, I die. So slow. One. So another one. Die. I'm just clearing this place out. I used to hate doing these things. Woo! So I would fall off the edge. 
I almost did again. Because normally I'm putting all my brain power towards doing this. Not being distracted by trying to make up some make up lame commentary. Okay, and now. Go away, Bat. Fuck you. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Ready for what? To defeat Nasty Nork, which never actually dies. I mean, how the hell could he die to two flame? One, two, I win. Oops, I just gave away a spoiler. Oh, well. Now you know he dies in two hits, if you do it right. Did I get everything? Except for those, but I'll have to come back later anyway. Let's kill you then get the dragon. Starting when I release him, it puts me right next to you. But not close enough to attack, but real close. Thank you for releasing me. Oh, another douche. That doesn't tell sh me shit. Yes, thank you. So what the fuck do I get in return? Nothing. I get nothing in return. Figures. This is where you first run into those icy slippery guys. And the dragon that's next will tell me how to kill him. Push him off the edge. Well, not really tell me. He'll give me a hint. And I'll have to figure it out for my fucking self. Because they don't want me to go and defeat Nasty Nork at all. They just want me to die before I reach there. How helpful. There he is. Psst. Spyro! Some big Norks up ahead are wearing armor. And in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. See, Spyro's on his goddamn own. I'm at 30. And there's 80 dragons, so I'm less than halfway. And there isn't a percentage of how close you are being complete. It just says how many dragons you got released. Oh. Wait, now I think of it. Yeah, that's right. I do have to go up here at least once. I do have to go up here twice because the thing right here will just fly down like this. That's why I didn't bother getting these gems right here, because I would have to come and get them anyway. I have to go up back around through here, goddamn it. I'm not gonna hit this up, because that's just gonna be too much of a pain in the ass. Whoa. I could have fallen off the edge here. Mm. I'm trying to think about what the hell to talk about. More or less already ran out. I'll just talk randomly then. Screw it. Oh, uh, I was talking about my goddamn life. My life story, which is just is so interesting, isn't it? So I'm being sarcastic. <coughs> Bitch. There should be a dragon right there. No, just a dude. A guy that just loves his biceps and his chests. Chest muscles. Ugh. There's that dragon, I thought it was somewhere. See, look at him, look at him. You see him just flexing his muscles? Mm. I'm now right behind him. A word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <laughs> like me, before charging those large Well, if you, you can just freaking use your hands and smite the little bitch. Boof! Let's look at him by flex his little muscles. He's not doing it. it must be too close. I'm sure we just about done right around this corner. Yeah. And you should drop a five and done. Exit now for Dr. Shemp. The cool dude, but I got four minutes. Ugh. I'm gonna go save real quick though, because I have not saved yet. Just in case something happens. There we go. I also make a safe state too with the emulator. Confronting Dr. Shep. Oh, the guy with the glasses. The nice shades. I don't like this place. It's 
it's extremely short, but I just don't like it. And this is where these girls can really hit me. I just killed your dude. Oh, by the way, if you don't kill him, those freaky guys with the masks on their head, those guys, they'll just jump off the edge. Okay. They just jump off the edge. Ah, morons. And now, this is where these ladies can be deadly, because they can actually slap you off well, the edge. just going to smack you around, really. I like it slapped around here. I'll show you right here what they do. Oh, bitch, you got me. See? Don't do any damage. They just going to slap you. Kind of useless, except there's one girl right here that is going to be deadly. She hits you. She slaps you to the her right. I'll get smacked off the edge. Let's go over that 25 and get it. Look at that background. This key. Train's gonna release a 25 for me in the future. Drop down. Whoa! Fuck you, camera. Purposely doing that. I'm just gonna talk about the boss. This guy thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I'll tell you one thing. He should watch his back. And there's the hand for you. Gotta flame his back. So you can see armor. That's right, come on over. Smack, smack. One down, two hits to go. Come on, nasty. You know, it takes two to kill you, and it takes three to kill these guys. One more hit, and he's done. You got a little tougher, and now you can't just stand there. And I said, good. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. This battle. Boom, go down here. Whoa, 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 don't go off the edge. Now she'll slap you off the edge. If I only miss in a five, then sh I'm done. Exit. I can now go to Magic Crafters. The next homeworld. Which I have to say is my personal favorite. But I'm probably going to die the most in that world. And I got like another minute before I have to stop recording. And I'm going to take a break. Can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. Upward for the Magic Crafters world if you are ready. Go to Magic Crafters. Let's go. I love this place. I love magic crafters. Entering magic crafters world. Here we are. I don't got much time left at all. I'm probably just gonna get this egg. Do you think call it good? Or so maybe. And this is after this world you will not be running to any more egg thieves. Well, anyway, thank you for watching. Actually, I'm gonna see this dragon real quick. Cosmos. Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover that the click. eggs from those pesky blue thieves. That click was me saving. No, the my time I'm gonna save right here. And as I said before, thank you for watching, if you actually watch, and have a nice day. See you again next time.